Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and today I'm bringing you a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. I'm playing some Search and Destroy on the map Dome. Now, before I get what I wanted to talk to, uh, I want to explain why. I want to explain a few things. So, first off, I know that this is the map I used in my last commentary. Sorry guys, but um, I'll explain that more here in a couple seconds. But another, the next important thing I wanted to tell you guys is this is not an amazing gameplay. Now, this is only, I, I think I got like 6 and 2, which isn't very good, but in search and destroy terms, that's actually not too bad. Uh, yeah, but there's a pretty good clip in here uh, where I turn on the kid, which is mainly the reason why I used it. But also, why I use it is because I promised you guys Wednesday night, yeah, I posted a bulletin Wednesday night on YouTube, and uh, I suggest you guys check your home pages a lot. I plan on posting a lot of bulletins, that's how I'm going to get a lot of information to you guys. I do have a Twitter, but I don't use it enough to be able to tell you guys to go follow me. So, if you're interested in when I'm uploading a video or anything like that, just check the YouTube homepage. I'll be updating it when I begin to upload a video or anything like that, or any kind of information. Yeah, so, I told you guys I'd be uploading a video either Wednesday night or Thursday. And what turned out happening is because of basketball in school, I was tired Thursday night, and uh, I got on Xbox and I got home from basketball, which is like 6 o'clock. Uh, actually, no, I didn't. I got home at like 6 o'clock, and by the time I took a shower, 8 and stuff like that, it was really late. Well, it wasn't really late, but it was late to where the point where I didn't really feel like playing Xbox at the, point, at, the, uh, at the time. But I knew that I had to get a commentary out to you guys. So what I did, I jumped on the Xbox, and uh, I played I played the Search and Destroy, which I usually don't do. But uh, this is the first gameplay I got, it's the first game I played, and I decided just to use this, because I wanted to get a quick commentary out. I promise tomorrow, Saturday, I will have a full-length commentary out for you guys. Probably, I'm thinking about giving my opinion on Modern Warfare 3 as a whole. Maybe doing a story time, I'm not sure yet. But, yeah. So expect full-length commentary Saturday, uh, probably another one Sunday, and then uh, during the week it'll be, we'll just... We'll go with it and see how that works out. But yeah, so sorry for not having such a good gameplay. But now the next thing I want to talk about, um, <clears throat> which is pretty important, and has to do search and destroy, and it's kind of a tip, is you have to uh, get a good opening route. Now, in general, my rule of thumb is if you don't, if you haven't really played a map that much, maybe you don't play search and destroy very often. Uh, one thing you can do to choose a good opening route is just go away from where most of your team is going. In general, most Call of Duty players that play Search and Destroy tend to go towards where most of the action will be. Now, this gives you a lot of action, but you it, your chances of dying uh, exceed so much. And there's no point in, especially in Search and Destroy, when you only have one uh, life per round, why waste it? Just take the extra 5 to 10 seconds, get around the map, get behind your enemies and you can get a couple of easy kills here. Now I think this is the one I wanted to show you right here. As you can see I started off with a good opening route right here I should have kept going straight but instead I turned here and went by these jeeps. On dome you want to avoid this area off the opening route because look here I died. And the reason why is because that is their spawn in there. Uh, that's where they spawn, that's where they're gonna be, they're gonna be waiting for you. There's windows there are very notorious people's camping in there people can run out and hide behind those jeeps stay away from that there can be grenades all that stuff what you should have done or what i should have done is what you saw i came up that i came out of the bunker i checked to make sure there's nobody over there which was a smart move and then i went straight and i should have ran past that tank and kept going but i didn't as you see here i realized my mistake after this run i fixed it and i actually went the right way but yeah just you know guys there are so many lines of sight and people, especially search and destroy veterans, will utilize those so much. So you have to make sure that you learn those quickly and avoid those. So, as you can see here, I run up here. Once again, I check to make sure no one's over there. Run across, and I kept going, which is what you want to do. That's a good opening route right there. And it's mostly because, as at this point in the game, not too many people of the enemy come this way. They usually go the other way. So yeah, so that's a quick tip guys, just make sure you use your uh, opening routes, make sure you find one that works for you. And this video is wrapping up, so I just want to tell you guys, if you like this video, please leave a like. You don't have to if you don't want to, it's perfectly fine if you're not. 
but it really gives me some feedback, lets me know that I'm doing good, and makes me want to upload more commentaries. And guys, if you have any kind of questions or comments, or you just want to say hi, anything like that, leave a comment. That's fine. I'll probably respond to you, and I love talking to my subscribers. And, um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. This is the f f first video you've seen from me. Let me know what you thought, what you think. If this is, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. It means a lot. And hopefully I will see you guys.